Alright, so, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. This episode is going to be interesting. <laughs> I've got a timed segment, including battles, and then I've got a boss, so... Good luck to me, I suppose? <laughs> It's not going to be too bad, but uh, notice that my characters were dead at the start, at the end of the last episode. Maybe that was a bit of an oversight on my part. Maybe I should have just waited at the time limit, but I, because they're dead, I couldn't equip them even if I wanted to, without wasting three Phoenix Downs at least. And considering I only have one, that's a bit of a problem. That's okay. I don't think I'll need it. As long as I get a reasonable amount of luck and I don't mess up. Alright, so I've got to move quickly here. Alright, now I'm ready to go. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Everything's broken up into fives, as you can probably tell. Okay, that didn't go wrong. A lot, and there are a lot of things that can go wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Back two. Always left. One, two, three, four, five. 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 All right, so now I should be up here, and I'm sure that was a lovely description for everyone. There we go. As expected, well, hoped for, really. <laughs> Alright, first of the battles. Oh yeah, I was running, gonna run straight down there. Alright, you defend. Alright, you're Gao. Because I pressed up, and it didn't work. And you're Edgar. So I'm gonna auto crossbow. It has a faster animation, even though Bio Blaster is slightly stronger, it's not worth my time. Out of the way, Locke. Even though it really doesn't matter. The problem is I have to hope Gao uses Fireball. And tease Fireball. It's really only a huge uh, waste of time if Gao decides to not use Fireball several times in a row. Once or twice doesn't really lose me any time. As expected. There's almost no way I'll get through here without getting at least three fights here. Alright, when Edgar auto crossbows, that should pretty much finish him off. Maybe some seizure damage. Here we go. Probably just wasted some time there. Alright. Get down to the bottom right here. Alright, up to the top, all the way to the right. 
One, two, one more step to go. Unless the rat got in my way, if he does, that's a troll. Nice, gotta use fireball right away there. The most dangerous thing about this part is probably rabies. One of those rabid rats bites me, then that's not good. That means I have to go in the menu, and that's unnecessary healing, and... I think I've got time. This has been going decently fast so far. Uh-oh, I think that was rabies. I don't want to have rabies. to the menu to heal my characters from their rabies. Okay, I... Uh, that also gives me a decent opportunity to heal before Ultros. Back to... And this should be it. Yep, that's it. Okay, I made it. I don't know how much time was on the timer. I think I actually had plenty to spare there, probably a minute 30. But that's just a guesstimate. I don't really have... I, I haven't been setting a timer or something to... <laughs> so anyway, I realized that in my LLG I went about it all wrong. Then again, I got super lucky in my LLG, so it really didn't matter. But there's actually a really easy way to make this fight completely reliable. This fight would be kind of nasty otherwise, with fireballs going off all over the place, seizure damage, probably killing Gao because he's weak to it and doesn't have much HP. But there's an easy way around all that. The fortunate thing is that Ultros has a whole bunch of positions on the screen. Each one has like a separate HP count, so... If I pump the damage into the wrong ones, it's useless. And essentially the... W and essentially the way I think it works is that uh, he's on a timer, and then after that timer goes off, I... he'll actually... the next hit he takes, he'll go down under the water. However, I... the trick to it, this battle here, is not actually dealing that hit for him to go under the water. I just let the seizure take care of him and I'm good. Oh yeah, Edgar's a magic menu. <laughs> I forgot. Oh yeah, Locke didn't need to heal him. Um, I can tell which side he hits usually by, uh, the side of the screen that his attack is on. Okay, Locke parried that. Alright, I'll lock him to the back row, because I'm not going to be hitting with him anymore. I just wanted to get some extra damage off at the start. Locke parried another attack. The best part is, this not only makes it really easy to kill him because I don't ha I'm only depleting the HP of one of his forms here, but it also removes all his dangerous attacks. Like, all he's got is his regular attack and tentacle here. That was him. So I'll just have every character, even Gao, who's protected. 
uh, DM himself. The reason why I'm having Gao do it is because it's hard to distinguish between him and Edgar that easily. <laughs> At this point, it's pretty much in the bag, I think. I don't think he can do anything surprising. Thank you for leaving, Ultros. And... Enter Setzer. Goodbye, Celeste. Well, it's time for Act 2. Does Act 3 begin when the world blows up? Alright, uh, one thing. I, uh, as I mentioned in my opening mid video's description, the airship is going to be a, uh, spot where I can take the blindfold off. Part of the reason is because the flying around the airship would be kind of bogus without, like, any audio cues whatsoever. I suppose I could do it just like I did the choke bow, but it would be even harder and it seems kind of stupid. The second reason is I don't really want to have to go to a save point in the world of ruin whenever I'm gonna go change my equipment or check something or whatever. That seems a little bit silly. I don't want to force myself to do that just for the sake of like being blindfolded more. It's not like it increases the amount of strategy I have to do or anything, so I'm, I might as well just take the airship and as a safe spot. And and no, fighting Doomgaze does not count as a time I can open my eyes. Alright. So just because I can, I'm going to run around for a bit. And I don't have to memorize a route. So, um, yeah, I'm still at full HP because I didn't really, same as the LLG, I didn't really take any damage on all throws. Yeah, I kind of don't care right now. I've probably got better things I can do with my cash, I'm not going to waste it here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just running around because I can. Back to Setzer, anyway. Hello, Setzer! I'm not gonna read the dialogue. This isn't really a let's play. And besides, reading the dialogue once would be... <laughs> for a whole one time. Oops, I flipped the wrong coin. <laughs> that was the single-headed one, and, and I lost. <laughs> Oops. In a while. <laughs> Oh, I haven't had a near-death experience in a while. <laughs> Safety first, you know.
Would a simple no have not sufficed, Setzer? <laughs> Then again, I suppose it does crash when, you know, a continent falls on it, but... <laughs> Alright, I should put the blindfold on because... Oops. God. I can't reach it now. Okay, there it is. Because any second now it's gonna tap over to the overworld where I thought I'll have my eyes open. Besides, I don't really think I need to see Vector looming over the horizon that horribly badly. Um... Yes, I was on item. Well, okay, that's the end of the segment. That was certainly an interesting segment. Um... So I'm interested to see how close it came. I actually think it didn't come that close, but...